All right, here's our holders right here. So I just did some measurements, and it looks like it's going to be pretty close to just cutting this flush. Our straight diameter ends right where my thumb is, and the inside of this holder here ends right here in the back side where it just goes undercut. So that works out to be about just right. So I'll just cut it right to that edge like I was going to anyway. And then we got to cut the back side of this off here. Do that with a chop saw probably. Uh, take a while. It's about an inch and a quarter thick back there. A nice hard metal. Alright, so I throw this lathe and cut this next. Alright, we're getting this cutter, this holder cut down here. Pretty darn hard metal. Um, this is the soft stuff here, so I got well, most of the hard stuff I've worked my way through now. So, I just change out the bit, new tip on there. So, we'll see if we can get this to come off a little quicker now. It's still heat treated in the middle, but. I only got a little bit left, so see what happens. Okay, I got this holder cut down here. Definitely a big chunk of metal to remove. So that's going to go right there. I still got to cut the backs out of this off yet. I got this back mocked up. This here is a tap holder head. It basically just pops in there. Except when I'm trying to do it. There it goes. It pops in like that. And that's what the whole assembly will look like once I get it all done. But for now I need to cut this back. So i got to cut off a good inch and a quarter of that off of there. <clears throat> and then uh, put a couple flats on there for set screws to hit against, and hopefully this thing will be usable. So, anyway, we'll continue with it. Alright, just got this cut off. Took a while to get that thing cut. Went through three discs. So now that shortened up to go into there. So I cut this back about an eighth of an inch still, clean it all up, and then Hopefully it should go about assembly, but I'll probably have to lap it a little bit. So, one step closer and getting this thing done. Okay, I got that all machined off now. So now we're going to go ahead and try and see if this thing will go into here. I'll have to get a little bit of lapping compound on here, I think. A little snug. So I'm going to go ahead and get some lapping compound. I'm working on a little bit. Right, I'm trying to lap this here, but it's just not going to fly for now. <clears throat> All I want to do is lock up. We're setting up our tail stock here. There's our lapping compound. I think it just wants to lock up in here. So I'm going to clean all this up, get the external hunt out, and go at it with that a little bit. All right, finally got it on there. Combination of lapping and honing. Still done now. It's real tight right there in. It's good. It's spinning pretty true. So it's straight. We got to clean it all up. Put a couple notches in here where the screws go, and we'll reassemble this thing. See how it really works. Okay, we're cutting the flats on here for the holder here. Where the set screws go so you don't mar up your surface. So I just took a 20 cut here. I got taper on it so it'll uh, automatically hold it in, not let it fall out. And pretty hard right there because that's the heat treated part. Once you get into about here, it starts softening up. But I'm going to make another pass here. Cuts pretty hard. <laughs>
quite a little in this river, but it's still pretty hard. Anyway, you get the idea.